you can learn everything about yourself for about $1,000. That's actually what it costs to obtain your entire DNA sequence. All right, but what do you do with the information once you have it? The DNA sequence isn't widely shared, and doctors don't always know what to look for to identify rare diseases. Now, genetic analysts have a new diagnostic tool, and Drew Armstrong of Bloomberg News is here to give us details. Drew, what's this all about? Uh, how does this all work? Yeah, this is really fascinating. You know, as you mentioned, the cost of getting your DNA sequence has fallen. I think the first time we did a human being, it took, you know, years and years and years and billions of dollars. Now you can do it for $1,000 in a lab in just a few hours. And this is what, taking, you take a swab? Uh, exactly, just like a little tissue swab inside your mouth, a sample of blood, some hair. It's you send a, it in. You send it in and, you know, it goes into a, essentially a supercomputer and gets processed out. It's really, really, really remarkable technology if you know exactly what you're looking for and where to look for it, right? So this thing puts out these gigabytes and gigabytes of data much of which, you know, we don't necessarily know what to do with or something like that. So let's say you're sequencing a tumor cell or something like that. You know what mutations to look for. That's one of the things that science has gotten really good at. But let's say we don't know what's wrong with you, right? There's about 25 million Americans who have one of some 7,000 Mendelian disorders. It's a defect in a single gene, shows up in childhood. Some of them can be absolutely devastating. They can kill patients within years. Some are extremely mild. For those people, they've a lot of time spent years, if not decades, trying to figure out what's wrong with them. And now all of a sudden we have this tool that can essentially take that huge, big haystack of data and say, hey, let's figure out exactly where the needle is we're looking for. Let's try to figure out exactly what's wrong in your genome in this massive set of data that we have and try to figure out what it is that's gone wrong with these people. What is the gene Who's doing that's this? gone with? It's a company called Claritas Genomics. Claritas? Claritas, you know, Clarity, Clar I think Claritas is the idea. Genomics. Yeah, and they're... Um, and where are they? They're up in Boston. Uh, they're essentially a, a lab that's been partnered with Boston Children's, it's a for-profit, and a company called Thermo Fisher that does a lot of genetic diagnosis. You know, these are the type of hospitals that see these kids who come in and have these very strange, hard to figure out disorders. You know, a lot of times you read about these medical mysteries where people go for their entire lives not knowing what's wrong with them. These guys had a case where it was this woman, Jackie, she was born when she was three years old, parents started to figure out things, things were wrong with her, uh, her arms were floppy, she couldn't stand up, all these motor disorders. And essentially the doctors told her, uh, take her home, enjoy her, we're sorry, she's probably going to be dead before she can drive. It's a terrible thing to learn as a parent. She's 35 now, has spent her entire life wondering, what's wrong with me? Why do I have these things? Why did I not die when the doctors were so sure I would? She went into this company. It took essentially just a few weeks for them to look through her genome match it up against all these things that they thought could be wrong or where to look and get an answer for her and say, hey, you don't have the thing that kills people before they reach their mid-teens. You have this other mildiform. Now she's enrolling in some clinical trials. She's now part of this research project that's able to help some of these people figure out, here's what's wrong with me. Now can I help out in the drug development process and try to start to find cures for a lot of these devastating, rare, mysterious diseases that we've had for years and years and years. Claritas Genomics. Yes. And Thermo Fisher. Indeed. The two companies. All right. Well, people can read more uh, at Bloomberg.com. Or in Business story. Week. And stories business out week. this week.